What's up guys, Paul from the SysAdmin channel bringing you the best tips and tools for your SysAdmin journey. And in this video, we're going to cover the steps necessary to fix Active Directory and Domain Controller replication. So if you ran into this issue in the past, you know that it can be a huge pain in the butt to fix. Uh, when replication is not working, you'll run into issues such as group policies not working as expected, or some users are getting old and outdated policies. Uh, in my case, I noticed that my logon script wasn't working after I had updated it. So just for some context, I use sysinternals BG info to print out some system info on my desktop. So I know which machine I'm logged into. Uh, it tells me my machine name, CPU, RAM, and network speed. That, and, and that can come in handy when you're working on um, a lot of remote machines. So anyway, uh, when I checked the net logon folder, I saw that it was updated on the DC, but not updated on the other. So basically one was getting it and one was not. So even though I forced replication a couple of times, it still wasn't updating. So I decided to make a video in hopes that one day uh, someone can make use of it. Uh, so I'm running to server 2019 in my lab here, but the process is just about the same for uh, 2008 and above. So to get started, I'm going to open up the event viewer so we can see what's going on under the hood. Uh, so I'll expand the application and services logs and click on DFS replication since that's where our problem lies. And from there, I'm going to filter the current log to only show critical warning and errors so that we can uh, remove all the clutter. So once that's done, I'll press OK. And if uh, you notice here, I have, I'm getting errors at the replication service encountered errors with its partner DC. Um, if I up arrow to event ID 4612, uh, we can see that the DFS replication service initialized, but it's encountering errors communicating with its partner DC, uh, DC02. So uh, after checking these logs, it does in fact validate that our assumptions that this is a replication issue is correct. Uh, so just to show you where I'm at right now, I'm going to open up the um, the net logon folder on the DC01 and DC02 and show you uh, basically give you a visual of what's happening here. All right, so with both of these windows open, I'm going to uh, put them in side by side mode and create a file on DC02 and we should see it replicate to DC01. So I'm going to name this file test rep.txt and we should see it uh, DC01 is now getting it. So that replication is good. The problem though is that when I create a test file on DC01, it never actually replicates to DC02. Uh, so like I said before, um, this can cause major issues in your environment, especially when you're dealing with group policies because some users might be getting the outdated policies when you expect them to be getting the updated ones. So we can see here that the uh, file still hasn't replicated and I've done um, forced replications and, and all that stuff behind the scenes and it just, it is not working. As you can see from the event logs, um, there is something wrong here. So with that out of the way, we're going to do what's called an authoritative restore. Uh, since the policies were updated on DC01 and that is a domain controller that is up to date, we're going to use that as the master. So I should take this time to note here that this is an excellent time to make sure that you have good backups before proceeding. Um, if anything were to go sideways, you can at least restore from backup. So I would make sure that you have backups of your GPOs, your sysball folders on each of your DCs, and just uh, just make sure that everything is backed up that way. Uh, if anything, like I said, if anything goes sideways, you can always restore to a previous state. So I should also note here that if you're doing an authoritative restore, the master is going to overwrite anything and everything to its uh, replication, to its downstream DCs. So if there's anything that's lost because of this, um, that's why I said it's always a good idea to have a backup just for that uh, extra peace of mind. All right, so we're going to start off by going into services.msc on our DC01 and stop the DFS replication service. So right here I have a uh, services open. I'm going to scroll down to uh, DFS replication and we're going to stop the service. And just to reiterate, once again, this is the master server that we're stopping the replication on first, um, just so you know where we stand. All right, so with DFS R now stopped, I'm gonna open up ADSI edit. And with ADSI edit open, we should see the, um, actually I, I had already the default naming context open, but if you right click the top there, click settings, you should be able to get to default naming context from there. All right, so we'll go ahead and expand the root here. And if we expand domain controllers, we should see our two DCs, uh, DC1 and DC2. 
So from there, we'll drill down to our primary DC, our master DC, and we should see domain system volume. Within there, we should see sysvol subscription, and we'll go ahead and open that. So with that now open, we'll go ahead and scroll down to where we see MSDFSR enabled. And by default, it should be set to true. So we'll go ahead and set that to false to disable replication. And since this is our primary, our master server, we'll go ahead and set the MSDFSR options to one. All right, so once we have that, we'll go ahead and click OK there. And then now let's go into our DC02 or any other DCs rather, and then open up the same sysvol subscription. And in this case, we're just going to disable the MS uh, DFSR enabled. So that should be set to false um, because by default it is set to true. I also wanted to make it clear that the MS DFSR options on the other DCs are left at the default zero. When this setting is set to one, it tells all, all other domain controllers that it's the primary. So we should only have uh, one domain controller set. All right, so at this point, we've disabled DFS replication service on the master DC. We've set the MSDFSR enabled option to false. And we've also set the MSDFSR options option to one on the master server only. So now we're going to, we're going to need to push a replication from our master server. And to do that, we have PowerShell open as an admin. And from here, we're going to type a uh, rep admin forward slash sync all the name of the master DC or the master server uh, forward slash capital A P E D. Um, and the capital A is for all partitions. The capital P is to push out the replication as opposed to pulling it from other DCs. The E is for all sites in sites and services. And the D is so that it identifies the servers by the distinguished name as opposed to the GUID. So I'll go ahead and press enter to run that command. And we can see here that there are no errors on each of the replications. So sync all terminated with no errors. So that's uh, definitely what we're looking for. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the DFS replication service on the master server again. And with that now running, let's go ahead and minimize these windows and let's head back into our ADSI edit. So going back into our primary DC, let's go back into our sysvol subscription, and then we're going to re-enable the MS, MS, MS DFSR enabled option. So we're going to set that back to true. Go ahead and click apply and okay. We want to make sure that we leave the MS DFSR options option uh, set to one so we won't touch that. All right, so back in our PowerShell window, let's do another replication. So I'll go ahead and click on the up arrow, followed by an enter to force another replication. All right, so at this point, once we've confirmed that the sync all terminated with no errors on all partitions and all DCs, um, at this point, we can go back into ADSI edit and set the MS DFSR enabled setting back to true. So back in our ADSI edit, we'll go ahead and click on the domain or sysvol subscription, scroll down to MS DFSR enabled and set that to true again. All right. Um, We'll go ahead and click apply and okay. And if it seems like we're doing a lot of back and forth, uh, that's probably cause we are. Uh, so next up, I'm going to go back into PowerShell, but instead of doing a replication, instead of forcing a replication, I'm going to restart the services on both machines at the same time uh, using invoke command. So this time we'll run invoke command, uh, specifying the computer name of DC01 and DC02. And within the script block, we're going to specify the stop dash service, and then we'll uh, specify the DFSR service. So we'll go ahead and press enter to stop that. And then we'll up arrow to uh, start it once again. I could have easily ran the restart service to accomplish the same thing, but I didn't. So with that now complete and the DFSR services now restarted, um, hopefully everything at this point should be replicating just fine. I'm going to verify that by opening the event viewer. And if I clear the filter here, I'm specifically looking for event ID 4602. Uh, this event ID lets me know that the replication service has been initiated and that sysvol should be replicating. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. Um, and we're specifically looking for 4602. So with that highlight, you can see that the DFSR or the DFS replication has initialized and everything looks good. And if you remember in the beginning of the video, I had the side-by-side -side window of the net logon folder. So if we open that up again, we should see that my test uh, rep file did replicate and it 
we can see that there if I refresh. Um, as a final test though, I want to make sure that we replicate those settings again just to make sure that everything is working as expected. So I'm going to create a new test file and I'm going to name this uh, test DC02 and we should see it replicate on DC01. And alternatively, I'm going to do the same thing on DC01 and hopefully we should see it replicate on DC02 since that was the issue that was initially discovered. And there you go. Life is good again and our domain controllers are replicating. All right, guys, this is Paul with the SysAdmin channel, signing out.